1945 P. Jefferson Nickel with Double Die Reverse. Graded as MS 67 FS 801 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, die doubling is evident on most reverse letterings, but it is most prominent on Monticello and 5 cents. This superb gem displays shimmering original luster. Vivid forest green, crimson, gold, and cottonwood green hues adorn each side, and there are no bothersome abrasions. The strike is generally sharp, although the steps of Monticello are only partially complete. It was sold for $1,020. Number 7. 1979 D. Jefferson Nickel in Mint State 66 Plus with Full Steps. According to PCGS, the 1979 D. Jefferson Nickel is a scarce issue in MS-66 condition. With the Full Steps designation it is even more difficult in MS-66 condition. In gem condition it is even scarcer than some nickels from the 1930s. There are less than 100 known 1979 D. Jefferson Nickels that grade MS-66 with Full Steps. There are none known in MS-67 condition or higher, making it one of the scarcest issues for the modern Jefferson Nickel series. This superb gem fetched a sum of $2,694.38 with buyer's fee. Number 6. 1940 Proof Jefferson Nickel with Reverse of 1940. Graded as PR68 by NGC. For those unfamiliar, the reverse of 1940 shows the redesigned reverse with the straight steps rather than the wavy steps seen on the initial year of production in 1938, and reused in 1939 and to a limited extent again in 1940. Only 14,158 proofs were struck this year and high-grade examples are rare. The centers of this piece are ice blue and surrounded at the margins by rich golden rose toning. The surfaces appear flawless. It ended up selling for $3,840. Number 5. 1944 D. Jefferson Nickel with Attractive Toning. Graded in Mint State 68 Full Steps by PCGS. Full Steps examples of the 1944 D. Jefferson Nickel are relatively plentiful as fine as MS-67, but in MS-68 such coins are rare. This stunning example displays beaming mint luster and pristine surfaces. A sharp strike and beautiful iridescent toning provide tremendous visual appeal. It ended up selling for $4,800. Number 4. 1960 Jefferson Nickel in MS-66 condition with full steps. According to Heritage Auctions, the 1960 Jefferson Nickel is remarkably difficult to locate with full steps, and PCGS has certified less than 50 coins in all grades. A hint of champagne color warms the satiny surfaces, and there are no bothersome abrasions. The steps are appreciably well struck. It was sold for $5,040. Number 3. 1940 Jefferson Nickel with Reverse of 1938. The Reverse of 1938 is identified by the mushy steps on Monticello, contrasting with the Reverse of 1940, which has sharply defined individual steps. The reverse of 1938 variety is by far the rarer of the two in proof format, being scarce in any grade and rare at the superb gem level. Delicate lavender and butterscotch toning paints a pastel blanket across the mirrored fields and sharp, satiny devices. No imperfections are seen. It was sold for $11,700. Number 2. Rainbow Tone 1942 P. Jefferson Nickel. Type 2 Variety. Graded as PR68 Plus plus by PCGS and later approved by CAC. According to Heritage Auctions, this 1942 P Type 2 Jefferson Nickel serves as the main PCGS coin fax plate coin for the issue. I appeal is incredible with neon shades of green, blue, pink, and gold around minimally toned centers. Both sides are utterly pristine, as expected of a proof coin at this grade level. It was sold for $12,600. Number 1. 1939 Proof Jefferson Nickel. The vast majority of proof 1939 Jefferson Nickel struck feature the reverse of 1938 with the poorly detailed steps on Monticello. The reverse of 1940 variant, represented here, is notably scarce and high grade. CAC endorsement adds to its appeal. Liquid like reflectivity in the fields complements sharp detail throughout the devices, but the hallmark of this piece is the beautiful multicolor toning that graces each side. I appeal is outstanding. It fetched a sum of $15,600. Thanks for diving into the world of rare Jefferson Nichols with us. If you enjoyed uncovering hidden treasures, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more numismatic adventures. Until next time, 
Happy collecting!